threats and they are like, they just walk into a trap, we are gonna do well against this combo. Stonk spam, you love to see it. Yeah, definitely one of the best skins for the price range that has been recently introduced. Uh, Rama going in on the right side, Punisher getting a lot of safe damage in, Jero as well, and I feel like this is not exactly the best composition for Na'Vi here. They did also have a slow start, Alex seemed like he was uh, not really there at the start of the game. He still looks like he's lagging just a little bit. It might just be a bot, it is a bot actually, so Alex has disconnected as Punisher is going to be going in on to MM the MMA there. He's going to be taken out, and I is Alex back? I think he is back now. Looks like he's there again, dodging the shots from Jiro, still getting taken down there, and Navi has full on mid control Punisher rolling in once again, gets some little percentages on the safe, not getting out there with a lot of health, but Jiro also looking to jump onto safe, it looks very good for Navi. I don't want to say I said it, so I'm just not going to say it, but I said it. Yeah, I... I feel kind of bad. I feel like Alex is back once again, and they're in for a lot of safe damage here. Alex and Cubic trying to defend in this situation. Jiro going for the jump as well. It's going to get a lot of damage onto that safe there. Jiro has been getting absolutely melted. I would have liked to see a stronger start from Navi, but unfortunate for them, this is just a part of the game. Sometimes you don't have the best start because of connection issues and whatnot. Uh, Cube, eh, sorry, Alex is going to be taken out by Jiro there and by Rama as Nui is going to be moving up. Another jump coming in. Not sure if I agree with that jump there, but this looks like it's going to be a Craze Clan game. That wasn't even close, and I feel like it wasn't even like, competitive, obviously, because of, you know, the situation. Of course, yeah. It was definitely a very unfortunate start there for Navi. Maybe they have less problems this time around, but I still feel like even if Craze Clan's combo is just so, so good on this map, I would like to see Navi counter it a little bit because honestly, I'm also still looking for a, for an option. What do you play into this combo? But let's see how they will do this time around. Craze Clan taking over the mid control for now. Once again, Punisher, respectively, Navi just waiting for his super to come with time. And as soon as he has it, he's gonna roll on to save, trying to get some damage. Gets the kill onto MMA. No damage so far from both of the teams, but Navi still, uh, Craze Clan still with mid control. Yeah, Chris Clan with a lot of control here. Another roll coming in from Punisher. He goes on an MMA, does get taken out, and now we might see a little bit of control coming in from Navi as uh, they find the kill on to Rama, who's going to be Nagumo for people who aren't aware. Jiro is also going to be using slowing talks and jumps out of that situation. It is very, very low. He should survive that interaction. Roll coming in from Punisher, and Cubic's going to be taken out. And now we see two members from Crace Clan in that little safe spot. Not the safe spot, but the cubby there. And it's just looking very, very bad for Navi. But it's still just only a 13% deficit. It definitely looks a lot better than it was in the first round. Navi not dealing any damage to the safe yet, but keeping control a lot better. Only 30% in the lead now, Craze Clan. But they're just running in time and time again with that Gale gadget. It's so... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. Just I, I just hate playing against this combo, so I really feel for Navi at the moment. They do need to try to get some damage dealt to save, but all they can do is really just defending over and over again. Yeah, considering the bans, I don't know if it's possible to win against this combination just b based on draft alone. Uh, just because of the bans and like Master Stroke from Kraze drafting the way they did for this one. It just seems very hard for Navi to come out of this if Kraze managed to hold control for uh, the majority of the game, and that's exactly what they're doing. Alice tries to go on a Jiro, not able to do so. Punisher rolling in. MMA is going to be tagged up just a little bit by Jiro. Jump coming in on the safe. Punisher also getting some more damage. The deficit is way too huge. It's like a cavern. It's like a chasm. Sorry, a chasm. It is like the Marianne's Trench, and this is there is no way for them to bridge that gap. Bring on, now we will have it easier. Yeah, we're gonna go into game number one off the second set. Grace of the first set against Navi here. 
and they're going to be looking to uh, capitalize on that momentum that they did build up. But Alex going in with the breakthrough finds the wall break there. Punisher gets taken out despite the stun on Alex, on a cubic, and uh, lots of kills coming in by Alex, and they are able to take goal number one within 25 seconds. And Craze is falling apart like a house of cards. The map is now also broken up a bit more, which means now we will have it even easier now with the B. Cubic doing a fantastic job there, getting the kill into Rama, pushing up once again on the map Punisher, trying to get that stun off. But it's going to be a very fast 2-0 coming in from Navi. Only one minute played and already this game is over. Well, well done by them. Navi Nation coming out in full force here against Craze Clan and that first set was almost forfeited but this time they mean business and this is a statement this wasn't just uh, them playing and winning some chance interactions they played it to their strengths and they got the better of them Alex absolutely insane there with the stew there with a the breakthrough he's been getting so many kills double kill as well and now Punisher the last man in life for his team he doesn't take out MMA and a twister is going to be putting a wrench in the plans for Navi but this is a very very strong start for them as they do have control looking a bit better now for Craze Clan map is being broken up again and as I said before as the longer the match gets the easier it will be for Navi breaking the map also getting that storage from MMA but now it's Craze Clan pushing up the map Jiro Punisher both standing in front of the goal is it gonna be a goal Punisher gets taken down and Jiro will not be able to score this one still 0-0 zero, zero, but a very nice attempt from Craze Clan Valiant effort, but it did go by the wayside. Punisher has a super to work with. He does go on Alex, but Alex dashes out of that situation. Cubic is going to be supporting Alex in this aggression here. Nagamo should be using the twister, but he gets taken out. Jiro does clear the ball, gets a speed on to Punisher, but he is going to be very, very low. And Alex is probably going to take him out. He does. Punisher getting the kill on a Cubic. Gets taken out himself. MMA can't pass the ball to Alex. He does do that. A rush coming in from Alex onto Nagamo. Able to find the kill, but not able to find the goal. Alex, absolutely insane, an absolute phenom on this stew pick here today, Sunny. He's doing a fantastic job on the other side. We have no way getting almost the kill into Navi. MMA, MMA finally gets taken down by Rama there, but it's a 2v2 now, and Navi's looking very good at the moment, having control over the mid, getting more control over the map. The longer this match is going on, Punisher, respectively, no, we now pushing up again, gets taken down there by Alex and Cubic with a nice pinch. MMA cornering the ball, passing it to Alex. Alex not able to score this one. 20 seconds only on the clock. Is it gonna be Craze Clan now taking this momentum, scoring this first goal, or are we going into overtime? Yeah, this is uh, very sad for Navi. The start that they had was very strong, but they weren't able to capitalize. Uh, s some of these plays were super egregious coming in from Alex. He shouldn't have gone for that goal and died, and he basically gave up control for his team, and now Crazy are going to be moving up. Punisher passes the ball. Oh, no, he actually gives it to MMA who passes the ball up. But this should be goal regardless, as Navi do capitulate and are going to be able to, I mean, are going to give that game to Crazy. We are at an equalized set score right now and uh the next game is going to be deciding who wins this set but i have to say i felt like navi played the better game throughout it was just that they just did not capitalize on those uh efforts of alex at the start very well played there in overtime it wasn't meant to be in the game crazy clan didn't get that goal in the last round and now once again, looking very strong from Craze Cube, the only one still standing, but very well placed gadget there. Having the control once again, Punisher now trying to push up the map. Alex doing a fantastic job as just keeping him low at all times. <sighs> Maybe a bit too aggressive there from Alex. Cubic gets the kill onto Noe, so nothing happened there. Mm, yeah, Craze Clan always pushing up a bit lonely maybe at the moment. They need to push up all together to get that momentum against Navi. The longer this match will be going on, the more of the map will be broken and Navi having it easier. 1 minute 30 still on the clock, still no goal so far. Yeah, there are two win conditions here for Navi here, which is breakthrough on the right walls and Alex popping off against either Nagumo 
who is Rama or one other member from Grace Clan. And he's doing exactly that. He is uh, getting the better of Punisher in so many of these interactions there. Haney dashes out once again, gets the kill as, as well. Now Gamal getting the kill onto MMA. And Alex is trying to push up. So far, valiant efforts coming in from both sides. Oh, wow. Alex gets a Sorry, Cuba gets a kill onto Nagumo here. Alex is dashing back and forth, and he's going to be found out by Punisher just a little bit, but he finds a kill. And now, Navi looking very, very strong as he tried to aggress once again. They get the kill onto Cubic, and a goal coming in from Alex. That kill was optimal, and that super shot was absolutely what Navi needed. 45 seconds left in the clock, and Kraze have their work cut out for them if they want to equalize this one. Technically, everything is still possible as Kraze can pushes up the map now, Navi holding to against it very strongly. Navi gets the kill and it's a 3v2 situation. If they want to push up the map, it has to be now. MMA still has gadgets left, using it against Navi, getting the kill there. 20 seconds only left. Will Trace Clan be able to equalize this or will be Navi the one taking this ball ball? Sajiro trying with the last max speed. But again, they focus on Novi getting him down in seconds and Navi actually takes this second set making it a 1-1 one, one in sets yeah today alex woke up and he decided to, to break up the mid not really realizing that the search was just waiting for him to do a mistake Grace going doing a great job at the moment just to punish navi for every single mistake they do playing it very very clever cubic and mma now switch lanes maybe the b will do a bit better against jira on that search but yeah, picking up Surge and then just waiting in that boat totem to get in his super is a very clever way to yeah get that Surge deficit at the start out of the way. Yeah, I feel like Crazy Clan probably should decide to swap lanes, but they don't. Crazy uh, Jiro gets taken out on the other side, but Punisher does clap back with a kill on MMA. And this is looking like a pretty uh, good start for the side of Navi here as Alex takes the six gems. Well, Jero's still going on a cubic. He's going to be jumping on a cubic. He finds the kill, but he does get taken out. And recent balance changes had it's made it so that the new gadget, the second gadget, doesn't give you three ammo, but two ammo. So that might play a small bit of uh, a, a role in terms of why Jero is not as um, effective. But he has been doing pretty well, though. Oh, he's going for the first gadget. Never mind. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> You're not. Stop saying that. Alex also on that stew. We love to see it. He did a great job in Brawl Ball. Now we're doing a great job in mid. But the map is so open now. Thanks to Rama and also uh, Noe on that Ember and Bow combo. He can't really hide anywhere. His left lane being down also gives Rama the chance to pick up some more gems. Only two gems left and they will have Kanta on. The next one will spawn on Navi's side. So far, nothing is lost, but it looks just like a completely different map now. Yeah, it's almost purple paradise, except for the right side. There's Jiro jumping out of harm's way at the right time. But Rama does get the gem there, the 10th gem. The amount of space that both Punisher and Jiro made for Rama there was absolutely what Grace Clan needed. Uh, our shot coming in from Cubic and Jiro evaporates. Alex trying to go in for the kill, gets taken out, and MMA is in no position to help out his team as Trace Clan finishes this one off and take the second set, or rather the third set, their second. We're going to go into game number one off now versus Graze off the, th off the fourth set, Shooting Star. Blue Star being picked up by Graze here. The flank hook allows Punisher, aka Noe, to move up and get the blue star, and Jiro tapping, getting a lot of shots off on Alex, and Punisher going in with the flying hook. He goes very aggressively, gets taken out, and this is not looking that good for the side of Navi as they're going to be pushed back in a spawn. Graze with a two star lead along with a blue star, looking very, very good in terms of ensuring that they have control of this mid here. Very well done there by Graze, coming already getting those two very important kills Navi following up with a single one still not in the lead for the moment that bow will break up the maps more and more and Crazy Clan does have a bit more range on their hands to deal with that but as soon as Alex has a super which he does now it's going to be very 
easy for him to get something done. As soon as somebody's low from Crazy Clan, he can just dash in, get those very important kills. The only question is, will he also get out of there without any harm? Cubic and Alex now preparing. Alex is yeah. just waiting for that perfect opportunity, which he saw now, but sadly dashes into the wall as second after hitting Rama. Rama being really low there, but just so surviving on the other side with MMA, picking up a kill, making it only a one star difference now. Yeah, this is uh, actually a precarious position for Grace Clan. Alex has a super to work with. Last time it didn't really work out for him because he got. Uh, siphoned into punisher got taken out there but Jiro was a bit too egregious got taken out in that interaction jumping in is alex he gets a kill he gets a double and that's going to be horrible for the side of craze as a navi completely dominated them but punisher going in he gets stunned he gets taken out by alex with that roundhouse kick that's absolutely insane as navi were able to turn the tables and take this one against craze clan absolutely bonkers oh my god very well played by them indeed and we see the chat spammers once again just spam i love to see it <laughs> but yeah that's <laughs> how they will do in the next set punisher breaking up that blue star once again making it a lead so far for craze clan but navi is a bit more careful this time around it's not going to be a very early kill there from craze clan yeah, Navi being careful in this situation. Alex is going to be very low as is MMA, and now Kraze have pushed back the side of Navi to spawn to get the kill on a cubic as well. And a very aggressive nest egg is going to be helping Juro out towards the mid game here. And the wall, I mean, the mines being placed in a very uh, important position for the side of Kraze as they will be breaking down walls most more than likely. It breaks down a little bit. Juro's going to be caught between a rock and a hard place. He's going to be taken out by Alex, and he was in a very bad spot, but. Navi still aren't in the league. They still do not have the blue star. Oh, Alex going in now, getting hits on both Rama and Punisher. Punisher will get taken down by MMA there, making it the lead for Navi now. Four stars different. Alex going in once again. That's the start of very well played by Alex, but then maybe the super back into your own side instead of going in once again. I guess that was an auto aim, but still, Navi is in the lead for now. Alex very close to super once again. That's gonna be a very good round for Navi this time around. 30 seconds left on the clock. Kraska needs a takedown of MMA to still get this win. They get the takedown on the other two, and it's still gonna be enough MMA picking up the kill when he is in the air. Navi might take this one. Oh my god, Alex absolutely crazy with these aggressive brawlers getting the kill as well over there. This is looking very, very good for Navi. Craze has not had the answer. Alex going in once again, gets one kill, gets taken out. That is going to be able to dissolve the pressure coming in from Craze Clan. And now Navi able to equal as the set score at two apiece. What was almost... Take control over the Craze Clan. Yeah, the barley pick, uh, it doesn't seem like a good pick, but if Navi are going to be able to get control at the start, then it might actually be really good. But Alex is going to be having a very difficult time against the Penny there because of the Salty Barrel, but uh, Cubic does dispatch two people from the side of Kray's clan. MMA could move up, but he is being pressured by Zero, so Ops not to do so. But very early aggression and control coming in from Navi as they take the hot zone by about 35%. Alex actually playing the other get to with Stu makes a lot of sense since you don't want to break up that map if you're a on your own side. Now we're doing Ooh. such a good job, already 40%. Praise can only taking 8. Looking very fierce from them. Navi now also in the perfect position to hold control. Dwelling Beetles is one of the hardest maps to come back into. Jiro with the Super now might be able to do something, but MMA doing an amazing job keeping him low, so he can't really dash into the action for now. No, he actually gets the kill into MMA there, but still it's gonna be Cubic and Alex standing strong in that zone. Cubic with the perfect dying jump as well. It looks very good for Navi at the moment. It doesn't look like Crazy can, can recover from this, to be honest. Yeah, this is one of the strengths of the Barley pick, and the, if you have a stew like Alex, it's just going to be hard for anybody to actually deal with. He's just dashing left and right, and your shots are going to be missing. And once you get control with both Cubic and Alex there, it is game over because 
the barley is gonna get so much of value you just uh zoning out people and zoning out choke points so navi played that flawlessly and they're gonna be a match point rewarded with their effort and high iq picks there very well played there by navi match point you said it is it gonna be navi taking this one actually with a three to score very close matchup between those two very strong teams at the moment in emea now we another time with a very strong start, pushing back Kraskan already into that little box there. Penny getting a lot of value now. Rama hitting every single shot, not only one of the opponents, but two cube now with super. Ah, uh, jump maybe a bit too far behind, not hitting Punisher or Nagumo. But still. But he does strong. get the kill there. Punisher is gonna be uh very scared about moving up, but they do find a kill on a cubic and a miss super from Jiro might cost the side of Kraz here. They are down by 20% and that is ever increasing as they are able to get these pickups on the Kraz clan side. Alex in the opponent's side of the map now getting the kill on Jiro. <laughs> With that barley pick really seems to work well he's shining really on that barley i see people in chat also Ooh. saying he's a beast on this barley and i have to admit he really does a great job 80 percent already for navi now is the time to come back maybe for praise clan both punisher and jiro are in a good position now getting the kill onto cubic mma also gets taken down by praise clan it's now or never for them yeah, Alex getting so much of uh, possession of this hot zone, despite being so aggressive with the Gaso heal, he's able to heal up just a little bit here. And Cubic also has a lot of HP, a super coming in from Kijiro, and Alex is going to be alive. And it's going to be 97%, 99%, and that is all she wrote as Navi have managed to claw this one back, despite the very bad start against this Craze Clan side. They have won three to two in terms of the set score. And I have to say the MVP for me, at least, was Alex. Absolutely insane.